Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a video for OBS recording settings. Um, my name is Donovan and today we're going to be looking at my settings because it's almost 2025 and I thought we'd do a refresher on what these settings look like. So for recording, you really want to focus on a few tabs here. We're going to start out in general. Uh, really the biggest thing that you want to focus on is that you're updated with the latest software and that you, you have your language set. Um, when in output, uh, I automatically recommend these two right here. Uh, there's not really much in general, uh, to be honest, but uh, the output settings are what matters the most. Uh, the stream settings don't matter uh, right here because uh, we're recording, not streaming. So let's go to output. Uh, again, this is the streaming tab within the output tab. So we want to focus on recording. So give yourself a file destination. Uh, I personally like to use mp4 i know a lot of people say like oh mp4 like you can't be using that because if you use that then uh you're gonna be ha <clears throat> if your your file cuts out you're not gonna have that file saved i've never had a problem with it personally so i use mp4 make sure your video encoder is your nvidia encoder uh x264 if that's all you have then use that but hopefully you have a graphics card by now uh to use for recording uh, I have this for my audio encoder. I have three audio tracks. I'll get to that later. Uh, rescale output is disabled because I'm recording on 1920 by 1080 already. Uh, in terms of uh, CQP, so I've heard that there's not much difference between 20 and 16. I personally use 16. However, uh, 16 has a very big file size. So um, if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, I would do 20 or 19 for CQ level. Um, 16 is if you really just have a ton of storage and it slightly increases the quality. In terms of keyframe, we have two seconds. Preset, I have mine on best quality. Tuning, high quality. Multi-pass mode is uh, two passes, full resolution. Profile is on high. Uh, zero and two for these last two settings. Make sure this is checked right here. That's all for the recording in the output section. The audio is important. Make sure all your audio bit rates are at 320. And then basically I have three tracks like I mentioned before. So you want to have your mic and desktop, your desktop, and then your mic. So these three are very basic. I have three tracks because the first track combines both the microphone and the desktop audio. And then the tracks two and three just separate those two. So uh, that's that. Replay buffer is a separate thing. I'll make another video on this later. Uh, in terms of audio... Um, you want to have your desktop audio as your headset, the one that you're hearing all your sounds in, and your microphone for your microphone. Um, make sure your sample rate's on 48 kilohertz. Channels are on stereo. Uh, for these, I don't really mess around with these too much. Just copy my settings right here. We have fast, sample peak, default. And uh, guys, if you have any suggestions for me with my settings, be sure to drop a comment. It really does help me out. It helps me learn and continue learning. This is just what I use, and I think the quality is very good. So on to video. Uh, make sure yours is at 1920 by 1080. Unless you're recording in like 4K, then you would want to bump that up, and then you can rescale it down to 1920 by 1080 if you'd like. Um, but uh, I just keep those the same, so I don't need to rescale it down. The downscale filter is only if you're rescaling. Uh, that doesn't apply to me. Uh, and then FPS, I have 60. Hot keys are pretty straightforward, whatever you want. Uh, starting and stop recording, I have F12 and F10. I've had those for literally like seven years. Uh, replay buffer I have as F8 as well. Uh, that's all the hotkeys I have, literally all the hotkeys I have. Don't even touch this accessibility section. And for advanced process priority, you want to keep this on normal. If you have this above normal or below normal, it's going to mess with basically how much, uh, how much power OBS is using on your machine. So you want that to be normalized. Uh, I found that to be best for me. Uh, here are all my video settings here. These do matter. Make sure you copy these verbatim. Uh, Direct 11, color format is this one right here. Color space is 709, color range limited. And then we have 300 and 1000. Uh, make sure the file formatting you can have set up as like your timestamps. You can actually change this if you want to, but the default one works for me. It can be a little confusing if you don't know what it's talking about, but if you hover over it, you can see all the file name formatting there. 
So in terms of replay buffer, like I said, we're going to make another video on that. Stream delay, obviously you can skip over that. Same with the automatically reconnect. Uh, network, this is just, uh, let's see, okay, yes. And with that being said, um, we got that, we got that, and all right, cool. So that is all the settings that I have to show you guys. Uh, one last thing I want to show you guys is just some basics here with this. Um, basically, you want to have some different captures set up. For me, I have a face cam capture right here. Uh, face cam, not face gam. Uh, face cam. Uh, so I have that set up. I have a corner capture right here. We have a desktop capture right here. Uh, this is the same as the corner capture, except the, the face cam has just moved over slightly. Uh, in terms of uh, Minecraft, I have one for shorts and one for regular videos. So those are some of my scenes that I have if you want to take care of those. But in terms of like my display capture, for example, you want to make sure that it sets your primary monitor or whichever monitor that you're going to you know want to record. Um, and my monitor is a 1920 by 1080. That's why I did not have that any differently in my video settings. So there's that. Uh, as you can see in the audio tracks here, my microphone is picking up uh, through my headset microphone right here. So that's why this bar is moving. My desktop, there is no desktop audio right now. That's why there's no uh, audio being captured there. Uh, in terms of some other things that you guys might need to know, uh, you want to make sure if you're looking for a video cam device, uh, the Brio is good. Um, if you go to properties, you can mess with all your face cam settings right here. Uh, here's a brief overview of my settings. Very, very good. I like them a lot. You need to make sure you have good lighting though. Lighting does matter a lot. Uh, I'm still working on my lighting as well, but uh, for now, my lighting is not horrible. Uh, it could be better though. I'm, I'm working on that. And uh, also there's some you know tabs at the top here. I would mess around with these. Make sure you guys understand OBS Studio as much as you can. Uh, in terms of your settings, go through these, you know, make sure you guys understand like advanced audio properties, for example, this is where you can actually adjust the, the volume, like how much volume you're taking in and how much volume is being picked up by the microphone. So for me, um, it actually, you know, like basically it maxes out at zero typically, uh, on here, it maxes out at zero, but like, this is all the way up, but to adjust it like above zero, you have to, you know, click here and click advanced audio properties and then raise that up to whatever you'd like for your microphone. Like I said, it maxes at zero unless you go to the advanced audio properties, which is right here. So those are just a few other tips for you guys. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in future videos. Um, like I said, subscribe for more videos like this. Take care and peace.